Welcome to Sports Roundup with Peter J. Williams on this Sunday night, April 20th, 2014. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Hope you had a great time on this Easter Sunday of 2014. Hope you went to church services. Hope you remembered Jesus Christ. Hope you remembered to celebrate with your family. We have some Easter egg hunts and have some Easter dinner. Now, let's get it on to the sports up. The, the sports roundup for the Sunday night, April 20th, 2014. And let's start it off at Fenway Park here in Boston, Massachusetts, where after a 4 2 victory, the Baltimore Orioles and Boston Red Sox square off in a third game on a four game Patriots Day weekend series at Fenway Park. And on top of the first inning, the Baltimore Orioles will go on the board first here on a Nelson Cruz leadoff home run on a fly ball to left field. There is no challenge on that. And it was one nothing in favor of the Baltimore Orioles there. Then Matt Leader singles on a sharp ground ball to right fielder Dan Lenave and Chris Davis scores and Adam Jones the third. And it was two nothing in favor of the Red Sox there. And then J.J. Hardy out on a sacrifice fly to center fielder Grady Southmore and Adam Jones scores and it was three nothing Baltimore Orioles in one inning here. And then it would stay that way until the top of the fifth inning on a David Little hits a ground real double on a line drive right field and fan interference and Matt Whittier scores and J.J. Hardy the third. Four nothing in favor of the Orioles through five. One inning later, top of the sixth inning here. Adam Jones singles on a line drive to left fielder Johnny Gomes and Rand Flattery scores and Chris Davis second. It was five nothing in favor of the Baltimore's. But in the bottom six, the Red Sox win. Bam! Woke up! Here in the bottom of the sixth inning on a Johnny Gomes home run on a fly ball to left field date. Uh, T scores, Mike Netflix scores, and Johnny Gomes homers. And it scores Gomes, and all of a sudden the Boston Red Sox would trim the Baltimore Orioles lead to 5 to 3. And then in the bottom of the 17 year, David Ortiz singles on a grand ball to right. Fielder Nick Mikeakis and Brock Colt scores and Grady Southmore to the third. And Dustin Pedroia at the second inning was 5 4 Orioles there. And then the Red Sox were tied on. Mike Napoli reaches on a forced attempt thrown there by third baseman Jonathan Choup. And Grady Southmore scores and Dustin Pedroia to the third. And David Ortiz the second inning was 5 5 with the score. And in the bottom of the ninth, Finney near. When the base is loaded, Mike Carp flies out to left field and that. Just in Pedroia stumbled with them, then made his way to home place as the Baltimore third baseman threw the ball away, and that scored. Justin Pedroia is the Boston Red Sox fight back from a five nothing deficit to win a strange, strange game that is filled with a lot of replays as the Boston Red Sox defeat. The Baltimore Orioles, six to five, as they improved to nine and ten in the season. Near Edwin Mujica got the win for the Red Sox to go to one and one in the season. Here is he breathes with that inning very well. Wow, Brian Matsus was saddled with a loss. Here. Next up for the Red Sox, they will square off against the Baltimore's one more time for a Marathon Monday, 11.05 a.m. opener tomorrow afternoon at Fenway Park as the Boston Red Sox 11.05 a.m. game will be in competition with the Boston Marathon running down Kenmore Square as Clay Buckles me on a man for the Red Sox wall. We in Shannon a man for the Orioles. Okay, let's take a look at our other scores around the major leagues here. Let's start it out in Cleveland. Cleveland Indians defeat the Toronto Blue Jays 6 to 4. In Detroit, the Detroit Tigers defeat the Los Angeles Angels 2 to 1. In New York, in a final and 14 in the New York match, Nip the Atlanta Braves 4 to 3. In Miami, the Miami Marlins dip the Seattle Mariners 3 to 2. In Pittsburgh, the Milwaukee Brewers 
catch out the Pittsburgh Pirates. Three to two in the final one, 14 innings. In Washington, the Washington Nationals, edge out the St. Louis Cardinals. Three to two. In no. In the top of Tampa Bay, the New York Yankees defeat the Tampa Bay Rays. Five to one and twelve. In Kansas City, the Minnesota Twins defeat the Kansas City Royals, 8-3. In Chicago, the Cincinnati Reds defeat the Chicago Cubs, 8-2. In Texas, the Chicago White Sox blew at the Texas Rangers like a tornado, 16-2. In Oakland, Oakland Athletics defeat the Houston Astros, 4-1. Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the Arizona Diamondbacks, 4-1. In Colorado, the Philadelphia Phillies edge out the Colorado Rockies, 10-9. And the San Francisco Giants defeat the San Diego Padres, 4-3. How about those Red Sox? Find the match from a 5 to the Orioles and winning it 6-5. Now, let's get it on to the Bruins here. After a hard fought, tough, one nothing loss to the Detroit Red Wings on Friday night in game number one of the Eastern Conference. First round, the Boston Bruins and the Detroit Red Wings will square off the game number two on an Easter Sunday, Monday at the TD Garden here. And top in the first period, Jimmy Howard makes a mistake. Playing the fucking old net, and Justin Flirt took advantage of the scores his first goal of the playoffs, and his first goal as Justin Flirt got a wrist shot at 7:20 in the first period. It was one nothing in the Boston Bruins here, and then at 10:35 the Boston Bruins will make it two to nothing. Now Riley Smith power play goal, where the wrist shot when it says from Lural Erickson and Patrice Bergeron was two to nothing in favor of the Boston Bruins here. And then in the second period, the Detroit Red Wings would go on board on a low glendening tip in goal with assist from Darren Helm and Drew Miller. 2 1 in favor of the Bruins here. And then 1816, the Boston Bruins make it 3 1 on the mainland Nucci snapshot goal with assist from Jerome McNalia and Tory Krug. And it was 3 1 in favor of the Boston Bruins. And then in the third period, the Dan Char makes it 4 1 on a power play goal. His first goal is the playoffs with assist from Drew Agnelli, second of the playoffs, and Dory Quick, second of the playoffs, as the Boston Bruins bounce back from a game one opening loss to the playoff series to the Detroit Red Wing Wings by Bats to the Detroit Red Wings. 4 to 1 as the series is tied one game apiece here, as game three will be shifting off to Motown Tuesday night, as the Bruins and the Red Wings square off in Detroit Tuesday night. Two Carras was awesome. 34 saves on 35 shots in that. Okay, let's take a look at our other NHL action today. Okay, let's start it off down in Madison Square Garden where the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers square off in game number two of the Eastern Conference semifinals here. And the New York Rangers got on the board first on a Mountain St. Louis goal at 4 8. It was one to nothing in favor of the Rangers. And then Benio Puyot scores a goal at 8 22 of the first period and then was 2 nothing in favor of Rangers. But then in 14 14 of the first period, Jacob Vorsek gets a goal and it was 2 1 in favor of the Rangers. And then in the second period, Jason Atkinson gets a goal, power play goal, 545, game tied at 2 to 2 piece. And then Luke Shen gets a goal at 11 18 of the second period. It was 3 2 in favor of the Flyers. And then 26 seconds left in the game. Wayne Simmons ices game number two for the Flyers with an empty net goal on a power play goal. That's a fill of the Flyers defeat the New York Rangers 4 to 2 as the series is tied one game apiece. Uh, I'm, I'm not Nick Smith. I'm not I'm nearly as talented as he is. But game three, Monday, Tuesday night, down in Philly. Well, the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh my! Montreal Canadiens are shockingly one game away from moving on up to the Eastern Conference semi-final round two as they hold a three games in lead in that series as they defeat the Montreal Can as they defeat the Tampa Bay Lightning three to two in the first period. Renee Bork got the scoring board and 11 seconds into the first period on a 
Goal of the West, one nothing Canadians. And then, second period, Tampa Bay, Lightning tied to the goal. And 8 3 in the second period, on an Andre Palat goal, and was 1 to 1 the score. And then, the Montreal Canadiens will be gained the lead at 2 to 1 on a Brendan Gallagher goal, and was 18 10 in the second period, 2 1 Canadians through two periods. And then, Thomas Pocanet at 5 4 3 makes it 3 to 1 here for Montreal. And then, Tampa Bay gets the goal for Matthew Clark to nip the 3 2 as the Montreal Canadiens defeat the Tampa Bay Lightning 3 2 as they all Hold up, three games in LA in the best of seven series. And food, one period out in LA. And in San Jose, Los Angeles Kings leading the San Jose Sharks 2 0 as Los Angeles Kings get goals from Jake Brunson at 1 3 1 and Trevor Lewis at 9 3. And now, let's get it on with the NBA playoff scoreboard here. Hi, uh, you know, Nick. Where is he? I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at that San Jose Spurs defeat the Dallas Mavericks. 95 and Sentry leads the series one game to nine here. Did he say where he was going? No. no. Tim Duncan led the Spurs with 27 points in the win. In Miami, the Miami Heat defeat the Shot Bobcats in game one in each game of its first round. 9989. as LeBron James usual form. 27 points by the Heat. In Chicago, the Washington Wizards defeat the Chicago Bulls, 102 to 93. As Nene got 24 points in the win for the Wizards. Into halftime in Houston, the Houston Rockets lead the Portland Trail Blazers, 49 to 48. Okay. And in NASCAR racing action on this Easter Sunday. Just a dream. There's only one way to find out. Okay, let's get on with the PGA golf action here. And Matt Glitchar holds out to win RBC Heritage. And that will be it for the sports roundup on the St. Paul the 20th, 2014 on Sunday. I'm Peter Wiggins and have a good night. And have a good night. See you. Bye bye for now. Here. We'll have the Red Sox update. After when I get back from Taunton, stay tuned. Tomorrow.